So hello everyone and welcome back to my van build. I think we're on episode 8 now. Uh, previously in the other episodes we were doing the uh, wood on the back doors. Now we've just started obviously all the electrics down here. First thing I'm going to do today is uh, wire up the batteries. So I've just got some cables from Halfords and everything else. Uh, so I'm going to start off with that. Okay, so um, I'm pausing the electrics for the time being. Um, and I'm going to put a piece of wood on here, but obviously the van is just really awkwardly built um, So I'm just trying to work out the best way I think what I have to do is obviously have it up at the bottom here, but then there's this massive Gap which I think I'm just gonna have to put a piece of like two by uh, one in that's just kind of shaped properly um, Have I just broken something? Anyway, we'll do that Okay, so I'm going to briefly explain uh, what I was doing earlier because my dad was giving me a quick hand. Um, so we've put in a plug here, this is for the fridge, that runs down to another wire which is down here, there's all the cable management up there. Uh, we also put in this isolator switch uh, which just ticks in and out basically, that's not connected to anything yet but that will basically shut off all the power which runs to the inverter. Um, and the other sort of safety feature we have is just a fuse in the main line which runs to 12 volt stuff. So if I want to ever unplug it, I've just basically got to take the fuse out and that breaks the circuit. So those are the two sort of switches that we've got for all of this. But what we're going to do now is wire up all of the 12 volt stuff into the fuse box, I think. <sighs> okay, so it's been a few hours um, since I lasted a little update. I didn't film anything because it was all pretty boring to what I was doing. Um, however, I will give you an update of what's happened. So, all of the 12 volt wires which have come out here, I've now separated them between the positives, which run to the fuse box, and put all the negatives basically through this connector. It's a bit botched job, but it works really well. So that I have a single negative cable which can run into the solar charge controller. Um, and that, oh yeah, and I also uh, wired in the lights, so they basically just screwed in, and I've just shoved them out up into the ceiling now so all the lights are sort of in place nothing's obviously connected um, but I think I'll leave it there what I'll do then to, uh, tomorrow is finish up wiring all the other bits of the electrics also hopefully put a switch in here as well and then then you should be able to get some lights on um, I'm gonna leave it there and I'll catch up with you in a bit okay so I've just quickly put a piece of wood in here which is basically keeping this off the ground so that I can do all of my wires and pull them through and start basically Plugging them in and getting them ready. I'm just a link in your chain. Um, next thing is I might, if I've got time, start some tongue and groove um, just on this side of the wall here. So I'm just trying to sort of construct a piece which can sit. Actually, that'll work really well. Okay, so I've got a piece of wood. It's a pretty botched job. Doesn't need to be a pretty piece of wood because I'm not going to see it. But that's just going to sit there and allow me to basically uh, stick my tongue and groove in. So I've pretty much just got to fix this in now. <sighs> job done. <laughs>
Okay, so I've now cut the holes where the plugs and lights are going to go. Um, I'm now just doing this little HDMI port. Um, if you remember back in, I think it must have been like episode two or three, maybe. Um, I wired in a HDMI, permanent HDMI, that's basically going to run through the projector so I don't have to have HDMIs like flying across the van. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing that little port there. I think I'm going to chuck it about there. And hopefully, that is spot on the right size, but we'll find out. Okay, so I'm pretty much ready to sort of screw all this in and wire it all up properly. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do is just a shave a little bit of that off because I don't really like that cut. But obviously this sticks out, so I think I'm just going to cut that up there. And then I'll stick it all on. We can move on to the next thing. Okay, turn the lights on, lights were working nicely, and the moment of truth is, this looks like it's drawing a charge, um, because the light has come on, but I wanted to check if I can charge my GoPro batteries. Way! Look at that, that works a treat. So, two USB slots there, I'll have the same of this over by the kitchen. Got our plugs in, don't know if these work yet, because obviously haven't wired up the inverter and obviously a little hdmi port so i can have a short hdmi laptop on here and that'll run up to here or potentially over there i might send it over that way and have a projector it's coming together progress what's the point of getting older if all i'm growing is cold to shoulders you feel me i'm growing older having no luck pursuing what i love you feel me? Good morning everybody, picking up from where we left off yesterday. Uh, I think the first part I'm going to start this morning is the piece of wood which is going to have to sit in here. It's basically cutting up another one of these and shaping it so it fits in perfectly there. Cracking on with that. Okay, so pretty pleased with the workshop so far. I uh, got the two hinges in, uh, but obviously you can see there's been some varnish and whatever else. So I'm just going to take the surface off with the sander now, um, and then I'm going to give it a coat of varnish. <laughs> Okay, so just while this is drying, um, I'm now going to start putting some, a couple of battens in there so that I can start the tongue and groove along that way. Okay, so I've just been doing the cladding, but there's a piece of the van here which kind of sticks out quite far further than obviously where I'm screwing in there and there. So I'm going to sort of come on the inside of this here and the inside of this and just auto carpet this bit. So I file, I shave down a piece of the tongue groove there so it sits a bit more flush and it doesn't pull out too much. Um, and then I've also put a piece in here so I can attach the tongue and groove in there because this is just quite awkward to, uh, to screw into. But it's coming along nicely, so I'm going to crack over some more. In the to the pieces, for you, I can't hold my tongue back, I know you think I think too much, and maybe I do, maybe I don't. Okay, so I've just actually taken some of the cladding just back off, because I forgot to do uh, this, which is a little reading light. 
So I'm gonna wire that in now. Every time I see you, I wanna be in your stable. Wanna be with you, wanna be with your people. But when you tell me lies, I wear a fake disguise. Wanna be in the day, but never in the night. Makes me feel like doing bad, bad things. Say you're it's all wired up. I'm gonna turn the electrics back on and test it out. <laughs> nice. Reading light. Got a red mode as well. Good morning everyone. Okay, so what I'm going to start with this morning is doing the um, staining of that worktop, uh, but the other underside of it, I've done the three coats on the top now. Um, and then whilst that's drying, I'm going to carry on with the last bit of tongue and groove in that corner as well. Say the same things Read the truth Tell the truth Okay, so the USB port is now in I've put this piece on I've just got to fill that gap here I'll put this piece in here I'm just filling this bit And then this bit And then that's pretty much that wall done How is that wall finished? So I've still got a little bit of time, so I'm just gonna chuck the nine, uh, piece of nine mil ply on this just to cover it up. So I think that is all I have time for now in these videos. It's been a really productive week. Managed to obviously get all the cladding done here, this worktop done, the carpeting done, the start of the worktop in there, um, and as well, obviously getting the electrics in. Now I haven't wired up the second batch of a Tesla solar panel yet. I just hadn't really had time. So we'll do that uh, in the next episode as well as hopefully getting that worktop on. That is all I have time for. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure to film and build. And as always, I will catch you in the next one.